Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the continuation of our first class that is DMS. So now today we will study Euclid algorithm. What is this Euclid algorithm? See, when two integers are given, you have to find out the GCD of those two integers. Okay. So, Euclid algorithm means what? See, when there are two integers, take for example 50 and 100. Okay, you have to find out the largest number which divides the given two integers with the remainder as a 0. Okay, now which number divides this? See, 50. 50 ones are 50. So, the remainder will be 0. Next, 50 twos are 100. Then the remainder will be 0. It means what? You have to find the GCD. What is GCD? Greatest common divisor. So, we have to find out GCD of two given integers by using the Euclid algorithm. Then why the name Euclid? Euclid is the name of a Greek mathematician who described the method which we are going to do. Hence, the name is given as Euclid algorithm. Now, let us solve one example. So 18 into 4. 
Now one more division we have to find out. So now this time 18 must be divided by 3. So 18 divided by 3. Now this is 3, 6 are 18. So finally we got the remainder as 0. So what is R3 now? R3 is nothing but 0. So here after the completion of the procedure, what we have to do? We have to write which is GC. GC of 243 and 75. The non-zero reminder, the last non-zero reminder is nothing but 3. And this will be the GCD of three these two numbers. What is GCD of these two, uh, these two numbers? The last non-zero reminder. Here is zero reminder and this one is the last non-zero reminder. Therefore, GCD of 243 and 75 is 3. Now, half of the question we have solved. What is that? Finding the GCD of 243 and 75. There is one more question. What is that? Representing linear combination. That we do now. Equal to 243. 
थ्री बी इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फाइव देन वट इज के के इज माइनस फोर एंड एन इज थर्टी सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ यूक्लिड अल्बर्थम नाउ वी सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम So the next problem is four mark three and five twenty three. The second problem find GCD of four mark three and five twenty three and represent in in the linear combination. As we know, the greatest number that is five fifty three by thirty three. So let us divide five thirty three by four not three. So obviously, it is four not three one za four not three zero three and this is one. So which is non zero remainder? We have to write equation for this. So R one is equal to what? One thirty, one thirty is equal. Is equal to what? Five thirty three minus four hundred three. So I write five thirty three as it is. Five thirty three minus. What is this four hundred three? Four hundred three is nothing but four hundred three into one. So four hundred three into one. Now again we have to write this further. Next. Now we have to divide four hundred three. By one thirty, therefore four not three divided by one thirty. Now one thirty three sa. How much it is? Three ninety. So this is three one. So this side the remainder is thirteen. Again it is non-zero remainder. So let us write the equation for this. Remainder equation two that is R two is equal to what? Thirteen. Thirteen is equal. So what is thirteen here? Four not three minus three ninety. So I will write four not three as it is. Four not three minus. What is this three ninety? Three ninety is nothing but one thirty into three. So one thirty into three. So this is the second remainder equation. Now again we have to continue because again we got. Non-zero remainder. So we have to continue the procedure till we get the zero as remainder. Now we have to divide this one thirty by thirty. So one thirty divided by thirty. So thirty tens are one thirty. So finally we got the remainder as zero. Now we have to stop here itself. So what is R three? R three is zero. Now you tell me what is the GCD of the given two integers? The last non-zero remainder is nothing but the GCD of the given two integers. Therefore, you can write it as GCD of four not three and five twenty-three is the last non-zero remainder, which is nothing but thirty. Okay, so half of the problem is done now. Now, what is the next question? And represent in the linear combination. Let us represent this in the linear combination. For this, we have to consider the GCD equation, which is nothing but the last non-zero remainder equation. What is that? Thirteen. Thirteen is equal to what? Four not three. Minus one thirty into three. Now see, four not three minus what is this one thirty? One thirty is nothing but our first remainder. It has got its own equation. One thirty is nothing but five thirty three minus four not three into one. So this is the answer for one thirty into. 
will clean out. So, 4 not 3. Let us first multiply, keeping the integers as it is. So, 533 minus into plus minus 533 into 3. Minus into minus plus 403. Write it as it is. This is 1. 1 3 is a 3. So, now as you know, 403 is, is 1. We can write it as 403 into 1 minus 533 into 3 plus 403 into 3. As you know that, how many 403s are there? Here 3, here 1, totally 4. So we can write it as 403 into 4 minus 533 into 3. As we know, which is the standard linear combination equation, that is nothing but D is equal to K plus B. Okay. So let us write the given equation in this form. <coughs> so which is A? 403 is A. Which is B? 533 is B. Now, K A. Which is K here? 4. 4 into A. 403. Next, you have to write it as plus. Plus L. L is nothing but minus 3. Minus 3 into 533. So this is the required linear combination equation. So this is how we can find out the GCD of the given two integers by using the Euclid algorithm. Okay. So in the upcoming classes we will study a few more concepts. Okay. Thank you.